Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It may be understandable why those were the words that came to Buckhart's mind Wednesday morning. And all of a sudden, something hits the house and, and just basically jars the whole house. And uh, at that point, I knew something was up. When he looked out his window, this is what he saw. If you look back through there, you have like a big hollow. And it's like a wind tunnel. Although Hart says high winds are common in this area of Owingsville, he says they're not typically this powerful. Generally, you don't you, uh, lose buildings and so forth. Now, if this destroyed barn wasn't bad enough, one of these beams from the barn, and you can see just how big it is, actually went inside Buckhart's home. Come on in. So what did this room look like prior uh, to this? It was pristine, pretty much. But now there are holes in the wall, and the floor is covered in soot. It was certainly a close call, but luckily, Hart was downstairs and home alone at the time. A few miles down from Hart's home, a semi-truck's trailer flew from this yard, jumped the fence, and landed against this home. This is one of three homes that lost a roof in this storm. We're really blessed in Bath County because our, our first responders are, are excellent. They train hard. Uh, they're really good people and they care. And uh, today showed that. In Bath County. So no one's hurt, no casualties. It's all good. Monique Blair, WKYT.